Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys had a, uh, a good weekend. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys had an awesome weekend. And uh, I know there is still some uh, fallout going on of the uh, Fanatics announcement. It's one video I plan on doing that, because uh, I don't actually have a Fanatics jersey, but I know where there are some. And I was going to do a comparison of the two, and so you, so everybody can see. Hopefully, what we're not going to be stuck with after next season. So I plan on doing uh, doing that here in the next uh, coming days. But uh, but right now, I wanted to do a video talking about something a little, a little important that's uh, that's coming up soon. But uh, before I get to that, if you are new to the channel and uh, you love uh, you love hockey content, hockey jersey content, jersey unboxings, jersey talk, hockey news, hockey, just hockey in general, uh, it would uh, be absolutely awesome and would be much appreciated if you would hit that uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified of future videos, you can hit that little bell there and be notified of any uh, any future videos. So. What I wanted to talk about is the draft lottery. The draft lottery is going to be coming up here in another couple of weeks. And I wanted to take a look at kind of how it's set up. So the the draft lottery rules, at least especially at least for, for this year that I know of, a team can only move up 10 spots. So if you are, if you are teams, basically, up until this line, are the teams that legitimately can draft number one. Anything below this, anything below that line, they cannot technically, if they win the draft lottery, they still don't get the number one pick. They can only move up 10 spots. So these are the teams currently in their current standings that can move up to win the, 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 uh, the draft lottery. And obviously, as you get down, the, the percentages get lower. So as of right now, the San Jose Sharks have the best odds to win the draft lottery at 18.5%. Columbus is second in line to that at 13.5%. Then it is Chicago at 11.5%. Then Anaheim at 9.5, Montreal at 8.5, Arizona at 7.5, Philadelphia at 6.5, Detroit is at 6%, St. Louis is at 5, Vancouver is 3.5%, and Ottawa is 3%. So the only way that, you know, any one of these teams down here, up until, up until right there, they can get they can win they can win the draft lottery. Because I mean you have, you know, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have eleven teams there. So if the Ottawa Senators win the draft lottery, they could move up. They could move up ten spots from eleven to one. So any of these teams can get that number one pick. Now, anybody down here that wins the draft lottery, they cannot get the number one pick. They cannot even get the number... I don't, I don't believe they could even get the number two pick. They might be able to get... Num they might be able to move up to number two. That might be the furthest they could move up. Because it's ten spots. And this would be spot 12. So, yeah... That would be spot 12, so the furthest they could move up is the number two pick. So that is the furthest that any of these teams can go, which right now is is Washington, Buffalo, Florida, Nashville, and Calgary. Now Nashville, Florida, the all, all of these teams right here, 21 through 17, are all, they're not out of the playoff race yet. So... You know, I mean, obviously this will probably, you know, some of this will probably change. But as of as of today, 
Monday, Monday, March 27th, this is who is where. And, I mean, there's still some chances that, the, that we're going to have some movement on here with some of these teams here. Now, Detroit has kind of fallen back into this where Detroit's got a chance. They could hit, they could, they could get, they could hit the lotto here and maybe be able, I mean, you're, the guy that is going number one, I mean, you want to talk about, they're talking generational talent. I mean, any one of these teams could benefit big time from this kid. And I mean, he, he's just, he's incredible. He is just, he's lighting up the, I mean, he's lighting up the junior league that he's in. And I mean, it's, it's crazy, but, uh, but yeah, so this is kind of how the draft lottery is set up for this year. The team now, now the team, honestly, that I would like to see him go to, I, I mean, if, he, if if Chicago won the draft lottery, I think I think everybody would be just I, just I think everybody would be would be would be just applauding, yay! If Chicago won the draft lottery, right? I mean, you know, we 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 all wouldn't mind if Chicago won the draft lottery. I mean, you no, know, would we? I mean, you know, or or would uh, or would the hockey world get set on fire if Chicago won the draft lottery? You know, would it? You know. Would anybody, you know, would anybody be up in arms if, say, Montreal won the draft lottery for a second year in a row? I mean, I don't know. I mean, Montreal. I mean, you know, I mean, they they could hit it. The team that I really would like to see him go to, I want him to go to either. I'd, I'd, I mean, obviously, Minnesota, Minnesota is not dropping out of the playoffs. They're trying to hold on to first place in a division that is really close. So Minnesota is not going to drop down to here. If there's a team that I honestly would like to see Connor Bedard go to, I think it is either San Jose or Columbus. That's where I would like to see him go. I think he would be fantastic there. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing him in Anaheim either. You put Connor Bedard alongside Trevor Zegras. Ooh, 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 yeah, that could be that could be dangerous in the future. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind him in Montreal either. You know, I mean, I guess Philly, I think it'd be a great spot. I think Philly would be a great spot for him. I mean, you know, I mean those. I mean, I, mean, I just I don't I don't know if Detroit is going to be able to. You know, I don't know if Detroit is going to be able to pull that win off. Because they've been they've been the worst team in the league for a couple of years, and the highest spot they got was like fourth. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. St. Louis, of course, is there. I don't think St. Louis is going to win. I mean, I think Shannon Shannon Shannon, the hockey guy, would go absolutely, absolutely ballistic if somehow Vancouver won the draft lottery at three point five percent. If they were able to win the draft lottery and move up to draft Connor Bedard, oh, I think Shannon would be Shannon, Shannon would be doing circles. He would just he'd he'd be he'd be running up and down he'd be running up and down his house, going into going in going in with Yvonne, going ah! <laughs> I would almost bet he would do that if Vancouver won the draft lottery. Ottawa, I wouldn't mind seeing Ottawa win it either. I mean, there's a lot, there's a number of teams here that I think that a lot of people would not mind Connor Bedard going to. The only one that I think people would, would be up in arms about is Chicago. Could Chicago win? Well, they got 11, they got an, an 11 and a half percent chance. So it's possible. But me personally, I would love him in either San Jose or Columbus. San Jose, San Jose is the first one for me. Columbus is is right behind. So that's kind of where I'd like to see him go. 
Connor Bernard in that San Jose Shark teal, I think, would look fabulous. It really would look nice, and San Jose could really build around, around him. And you never know. I mean, you might... You might you might have a San Jose Shark team that maybe that first year with Connor Bedard. Well, they can't get really any lower. They're right now number thirty-two in the league. So you know, would I would they would they be a playoff team with Bedard in the first year? Probably not. But you know, I think it'd be I think it'd be cool. It would be awesome to see Connor Bedard in San Jose. I think. Now, if he ends up in Columbus, that could be fun too. Columbus has got Johnny Gaudreau. They have Patrick Laine. Uh, you know, they've got, uh, uh, what was it, Zach Wierenski. They've, they've got some talent in Columbus. Columbus was not projected to be this bad this year. But they have been. So if Columbus were to win the draft lottery, you put Connor Bedard out there with, with those guys, with Gaudreau and Laine, Wierenski, and... and and you know Boone Jenner and some of those guys that could be that could be a very very fun team to watch. So those are kind of my picks of where I would like to see Connor Bedard go to. I'd love it either San Jose or Columbus. I'll be happy if he ends up in either one of those spots. San Jose a little bit more than Columbus, but I would not mind in the very least if he ended up in Columbus cuz you know I mean like I said, you put them with you put them with, you know, Gaudreau, Line A, Wierenski, Jenner, some of those guys out there in Columbus. That could be a lot of fun. So, let me know what you guys think. Who do we, who would you like to see of these teams win the draft lottery, hit that number one pick, and be able to draft this as they're calling him a generational talent? Who would you like to see him go to? Like I said, I'd love it. I'd love it if he goes to either San Jose or Columbus. I'd be plenty happy with that. I'd be. I mean, I wouldn't mind him in Anaheim. I wouldn't mind him. I mean, there's a number of teams I wouldn't mind him being in, but my top two are San Jose and Columbus. That's where I'd love to see him get drafted by. And uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. You know, where where do you think he goes? Who do you think wins the draft lottery and is able to draft number one? I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, if you have not done so, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, you can click that little bell and be notified anytime future content comes up. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, for me, San Jose or Columbus, I'd love to know what you guys think. Where do you think is the best landing spot for them? And uh, I will see you guys later.